What's up, you guys? This is Robert at Shy Bears Plus coming at you from the studios, the Shy Bears Plus studios. Make sure that you follow me on Twitter. Make sure that you follow me on Instagram. For if you just want dank memes only, you got me on IG. Uh, I want to give a what quick shout that? out <laughs> at Shy Bears Plus. Have you, are you fam- look familiar? Okay, check it out. Check it out. Shout out to Dave. Uh, we got a listener out there. He, he wanted a shout out. We got you right there. We're here for you. It's right here for you. I am also joined by Jeff at plus underscore shy on Twitter, connected via the World Wide Webs. Please say hello to the friends. Hello, friends. All right, friends of the program. We appreciate you for watching. Don't forget to smack that bell and subscribe and all that good stuff. You don't want to miss any of this crispy content because it's so good and we're always right except for when we're wrong. So what we're doing today is the Week 7 preview. We have the Patriots, who are 4-2, and two, just coming off um, a big win against the 5-0 and Chiefs versus and at the Chicago Bears, who are 3-2, and two, who just gave away a game to the Dolphins. Still hurts a little bit. Like a little bit. A little bit. Right around here. Um, anyway, all that being said, show's all fired up, ready to go. Hopefully, Jeff at plus underscore shy is ready to give the stats of the week. Yes, I do. I am ready, sir. Thank you. Uh, Mitchell Trubisky, we always like to do our Mitchell Trubisky stats of the week uh, segment. Here it comes. Fourth in the NFL completions percentage at 70.2. He's 12th in total touchdowns. Uh, He's tied with Drew He's seventh in pass rating at 105. We're going to add a little Tariq Cohen to the mix here. We have uh, Tariq Cohen, number five in the NFL in receiving yards uh, from a running back. And then we have him in the top 10, I, I believe tied for 10, at a uh, total punt return yards. How about the oh. offense uh, doing their thing? 10th uh, tied for ninth, actually, in points per game. 27.8, yes, that does include the defensive scores in there. Uh, but we are 14th in total touchdowns as an offense and 22 in total yards. Uh, and we have the second highest turnover percentage in the NFL with plus six. Number one is that plus seven. Defensive uh, segment of stats of the week. So Fourth in points per game. Ninth in yards per game. Zero rushing touchdowns given up. That's the only team in the NFL with that stat. Um, we're second in interceptions with 10. Miami has 11, one behind, I believe. And then uh, we are fifth in, in sacks with 18 in total. We got zero last week. That's going to be a big factor in how we do uh, this week against the Patriots. So many great stats. Great job out there. Thanks to Akeem Hicks for not letting that rushing touchdown for Drake going in and forcing that fumble. Um, Cohen, been killing it. He is due to break off a touchdown on the special teams, I feel like. Um, Just kind of going through some of those. And all the Mitch Trubisky haters out there and the Never Mitchers out there, uh, the people who are going, Pat Mahomes is so much better than Mitch Trubisky. Look, we should have never traded up. Blah, blah, blah. Look, I'm not saying who's going to be better and who's not, but there's a reason that Mitch Trubisky was... Uh, taken and it was definitely turnover ratio um, and if you watch that game which I went through um, a YouTube video where they went through I'm pretty sure it was every snap uh, before I made my notes today and Mahomes missed dudes he, he missed wide open throws every quarterback does it he made, made, made bad yeah. decisions through interceptions they're all going to do it no one's going to throw for 600 yards and 10 touchdowns every single game it's going to happen so hey just relax, be patient, let it enjoy it, let it marinate, and trust the darn plan. Sorry for getting into that diatribe uh, during the wrong segment, but you brought up those stats and it just triggered me and to have to let, lay down the law and let everybody know it's all good, baby. It's all good. What to watch for? That's what's up next. Here's my Robert Atchibers Plus, what to watch for. Um, so the Chiefs and Nagy, their system has put up 40 burgers on the Patriots the last two games, last week and week one of 2017. So this system can put points on the Patriots. So watch out for that. Um, 
I think Belichick has problems with teams that have maybe not one star, but a plethora of stars and lots of very good players instead of just keying on one player. I think that's why they have problems with uh, teams like the Chiefs or maybe the Bears. What to watch for. Um, so if he can't just take one option away, they they have trouble stopping it, which is almost like anybody else. Um, Tariq Cohen, Texas route, seam route, and wheel route um, out of the backfield in 2017 and in 2018. Um, Hunt went wild on those type of routes out of the backfield. Uh, you saw it a little bit the last two weeks on that Texas route from Cohen. Uh, I think di- we're going to see um, the seam. Uh, Mahomes missed a huge seam last week that had a hunt wide open. He missed it, but last year uh, Smith completed it for a big touchdown early in that game. So I did go back and watch that 2017 Week 1 film too. So uh, look, watch out for that because Cohen will be able to take advantage of these linebackers if he gets manned up on them. And even not, in the last week the wheel route was on a cover too, but he wheeled around and uh, they – Negotiated the safety with a wide receiver, and he came around the side of the wheel route, and he hit him, and it was a beautiful play to hunt. And finally, um, the Patriots are going to play some zone, so run the ball versus that zone with Howard. Um, I'm also looking for like some uh, some post-drag concepts, uh, where we're getting up a seam, we're getting up the sideline, and then dragging someone underneath. Um, just play the little levels game with them. Uh, I, I think that's definitely something that you should watch for because the, the Chiefs did do that in both those games, and those are some things. Also, finally, a big game from Floyd. I'm predicting it here. Uh, D4, the la- last year, or not last year, last game, last week, uh, was getting speed around the corner and uh, causing some havoc. So speed rush, uh, very important. What are your what to watch for us? Jeff. Yeah, great segue, not that you knew it, uh, about Khalil Mack with the speed rush. Uh, Khalil Ooh. Mack had a little bit of a high ankle sprain, maybe not that severe, some kind of uh, lower leg injury. And so uh, what to watch for is Khalil Mack. Is he going to be explosive? Uh, is he going to be held on every other play as well? <laughs> um, the aggressiveness of the Bears coaching staff. Are we going to see an uptick in blitzes from Fangio trying to get – to the king of getting rid of the ball early, Tom Brady. Are we going to be able to imply or uh, give pressure when we weren't really able to do it last week on an offense that's kind of similar to that? And then the conditioning of the Bears. Well, you know, let me jump back real quick to the aggressiveness. You know, last week uh, a lot of people are questioning Matt Nagy uh, with those uh, three runs in a row in overtime. Mm -hmm. Is he going to be... Going forward on fourth and fourth down, sometimes uh, is he going to pass the ball more in maybe some run situations? He certainly was not afraid to pass the ball on first down last week. All right, and then lastly, the conditioning, the physical conditioning of the Chicago Bears. It's been a question almost all year long. Uh, they come back home, full week of practice, not after the bye, so they should be uh, healthy there. So take a look. Watch for... Those things. Bears victory pluses. Coming up next. Um, So my Bears victory pluses are probably safe thing Jessica say. Turnovers kill. I feel like you got to be perfect in this game. I've never said that before. (laughs) Um, Run the ball early. Um, Only every week. (laughs) It's important. You got to say it. You really got to say it. Um, Get back to the time of possession and score on that first drive. Get ahead. Stay ahead, um, but I think it's really important to keep the ball out of Tom Brady's hands. Pass the corner of the backfield. I think that's a, going to be a great source of big plays for our Chicago Bears. Um, like I said, keep the long drives going. Um, keep them off of the field. Keep that type of possession. Uh, pressure Brady just like Rodgers. The more you can drop back and the less people you can send um, and still get pressure on the quarterback is your best chance to beat one of these Hall of Fame quarterbacks that we're going against. And luckily with Brady, you don't have to worry about um, him getting loose and running quite as much. I know he did run for a touchdown, but he's not as big a threat as Rodgers. And stop the dang run. If we don't stop the run, we're going to be in trouble. We're going to get eaten alive on play action by Tom Brady. You just know it. You see it every week. Um, So I don't want to be a victim of that. So stop the run. Don't put yourself in that situation. Pin your ears back and go get him on those later downs. Finally, protect Mitch. And do not give up on your routes. Just keep it alive. 
there are so many times where um, the KC games where you see Hill, you know, just running an eight route. And then he runs it all the way across the field, and then he runs it all the way to the corner. Next thing you know, the the zone's compromised. They're back. They're not looking for him. He's come all the way across the field, and he's wide open. Um, there's so many times where they just kept running the routes, ran the cross, ran the cross all the way across the field, and they hit him over at the other sideline. Do not give up on your routes. Our offense will eventually beat their speed on defense and outrun them. So do not give up on your routes. Keep running them. Stay true. Let Mitch find you because he can make plays. Those are Roberts Bears victory pluses. Boom. Boom. Oh, Lord. Not holding back. I like that. All right. Uh, Jeff's Bears victory pluses. Uh, as you stated earlier, win the time of possession battle. This uh, keys back to the conditioning fun- uh, function of this. Bears, uh, we don't want them to get gassed. We don't want them to be on the field for 60-plus plays again. Let's keep the ball. Even if we throw in the ball for five-yard passes, um, keep, keep the ball. Keep it out of Brady's hands. Keep our defense off of the field. Stop the running backs of the New England Patriots. I said last week, stop Miami's running backs. We didn't do it. Look, mm-hmm. we lost. Okay. So uh, stop. Uh, Sony Mitchell has been great the last couple of weeks, really starting to figure it out. One of the first round draft picks for the New England Patriots. And James White, who is among the lead leaders in receptions. And I know he has multiple touchdowns as well from uh, out of the backfield and running the ball. So two headed monster there in New England helping out. Uh, Brady and uh, and Rob Gronkowski's been a little injured, uh, and then uh, secure the rock. Bears victory plus secure the rock. If we secure the rock against Miami, we take home the W. Do it this week again, and uh, we'll be four and two atop the NFC North. Bears victory plus. It. Oh man, love it, man. Their backs are good. Uh, that Michelle really, Michael Michelle. He looks he looks like a player. He did. He looked like a first-round talent uh, coming out. A uh, real guy, really liked a guy who could catch the ball. He just seems like your James White, like your typical. They just keep recycling the great players. They keep finding them. They lose them. They come right back in. It, it's insane. If I didn't hate them so much, I'd like the Patriots. <laughs> so anyway, speaking of the Patriots, time for the Patriots victory pluses. Uh, if I were the Patriots, I would try to wear out this Bears team, keep them on the field. They've wore out twice. Nice long drives, get us going, get ahead, um, and stay ahead. Uh, like I said, we talked about the, the very last show that we did. They wore out against the Patriots. They wore out against Miami. So um, do whatever you can. Um, you know, run the screens. Get the If you don't think you can beat us over the top, get us moving side to side. Screen game, sweeps. Get this defensive line running because if you wear them out, they're not going to be able to come out and get you on third. Um, and then keep it close. Because Brady is Tom Brady, and that means that he's Tom Brady, and they're probably going to win. Um, and then also, I would try out a couple cover zero man blitzes, make Mitch beat the blitz, but I would do it in man. I wouldn't run some weird zone where I lose contain and have uh, you know rookie burning for a touchdown late in the game like uh, Miami did. But um, also, the Patriots are really, really good at manning up and holding on to wide receivers and not getting calls, almost better than the Packers. So, man, those two teams are so good at defensive pass interference. They're like the best at it. I'm throwing a little shade because they deserve it. And uh, that's what I would do. Um, make Mitch beat the blitz, find the hot, and they don't ever call you for pass interference anyway, so why would you not pass interfere? That's my uh, Patriots victory pluses. Yes, sir. Uh, my Patriot victory pluses, and I alluded to it earlier, is Tom Brady and the king of the quick release. If he stays upright, not a lot of grass stains, doesn't get a, his, the big pause of Keem Hicks, or is Leonard Floyd going to get his first sack of the year? Here, he's starting to be castless. Now that hand should be starting to get strong. Um, is fans going to dial up more blitzes? How are we going to get to Brady? If Brady gets rid of the uh, football, then uh, we're going to have a tough time beating him. Another victory plus is which wide receiver is going to step up. Josh Gordon doesn't look like he's really catching on over there too well. Uh, Chris Hogan's been doing pretty well. We saw Danny Amendola, disciple of the 
uh, New England Patriots himself uh, do pretty well against the Bears and some underneath passing. A lot of that coming our way to Soldier Field with Tom Brady and the Patriots. So who is going to step up for the Patriots? Number 11 is back there as well. Okay, and would the real New England defense stand up? We are seeing, yeah, you heard it. I'm calling you out, Billy Belichick. All right. Uh, would the real defense step up? That's a Patriots victory plus. No more giving up 40 burgers. Uh, but you never know. It might happen. Let's hope it happens. Those are bear- Patriots victory pluses. So show my maturity level. You start talking about Leonard Floyd's hand and getting healthy and making sacks, and I'm thinking, just just second with your strong hand. Get your strong hand. Uh, don't know why. And also, you bring up Gordon. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Um, And then Gordon. uh, Now he's gonna burn us because you said that (laughs) he's gonna burn us. He's going off for one fifty and three touchdowns. Um, I was just thinking that. But thank you so much for your Patriots victory pluses. It's time for predictions and for the board. Um, I'm gonna go first, um, and I'm gonna keep it simple here. I picked the Patriots before the season. I thought this was going to be a tough game. The Patriots are always ready to go by week five, and we are past that now. They usually figure out, um, like they got torched against KC um, for the win in the beginning of the year, and everyone's going last year, 2017, are the Patriots done? And next thing you know, they're awesome again. Um, So that being said, they look pretty darn good. Uh, They can outscore you. Even if their defense isn't 100% up to par, um, and Tom Brady's Tom Brady and Bill Belichick's Bill Belichick. So, that being said, I got the Patriots 34, Chicago Bears 30. I'm picking us for the loss for the first time on camera. Um, I hate to say it. I don't want it to happen. But I just I just don't feel like Wait, we're going to play. you don't want the Bears to lose? No, I don't want them to lose, believe it or not. I mean, all these hats and all these shirts and all these flags, believe it or not. But, uh... Something about this game just tells me um, we're going to lose, and uh, I don't want to. It's just such such a great franchise. They're always good. I don't know what else to say about it. I think we'll get right back to our winning ways directly after that, but we might take the hell on this one. But I'm going to be rooting so hard, so hard. Anyway, Jeff, what do you got for predictions, my friend? If we take a uh, – let's jump into the time machine real quick and Woo, go back – about two months now almost we're in week seven here's the notes that i had and you could clearly see shivers plus uh this was week six at miami had the l told you it was a trap game i told you it was a trap game i didn't believe you and i didn't believe you on the weather it's baby week seven new england with the w bears learned the lesson club dub yeah 31, 27. Club I look dub. like Post Malone. If I didn't have tattoos. Draw some Post Malone tattoos on there. <laughs> Give me the Bears, baby. 31, 27. They flip the uh, script. Bring back the W. It's Soldiers uh, Field. <laughs> nice. I cannot wait to go to Club Dub because Jeff is going to be you at plus underscore shy. And that's where we're going to go, Club Dub. Um, I absolutely love watching those videos and they're going nuts in the locker room. I should probably put in some sort of a lighting system here in the uh, Shy Bears Plus studio for the victories. But um, final thoughts, I um, I think this would be a very good game, a close game. I just have a bad feeling that Tom Brady's going to Tom Brady out at the end because um, it's going to be a close game. But Jeff, at plus underscore Shy, thinks not. So that's where we're at. we got a nice tight show here. Um, thank you so much for watching. Make sure that you hit subscribe, smack that bell, be on Team Man Bun, um, join up for it, sign up. Make sure that you find us on both on Twitter, as you can probably see right down here somewhere. And thank us memes on Twitter and on Instagram at Shy Bears Plus. Uh, that's all I have to say. Uh, plug yourself, maybe your picks and all that stuff, and then take us home, Jeff. Yeah, last week was our first 500 week with Jeff's best bets. We are now 13, 8, and 1. Still making you some money. money. Like I said, I'm not a professional. Wink, wink. Follow me on Twitter at plus underscore shy. Make sure to be you. Alexa, turn off desk. That's all she wrote. 
No. Oh, it didn't work. work. <laughs> it's a trap. <laughs> so good. Alexa, turn off desk. Boom. Nah, she listens what she wants to. <laughs>